Well, guys, I've uh, been working my butt off for the past almost two weeks trying to get the ceiling completed and finish the wiring and finish everything for a final inspection. And then the inspector came today, this morning, which is actually the last day that my permit's valid, but he didn't seem to care about that. And he walked in here, asked me a few questions, took five minutes. He checked one outlet on the ceiling to verify that it was wired correctly with the correct polarity. And didn't even go upstairs for a final inspection. And I passed. <laughs> so he's happy with this. This uh, entire ceiling is 5 8 fire rated plywood because this is technically a garage space. And above that, I have 16 inches of loose fill blown in cellulose, which is like R50 something, I think. So between the house and the garage is R50. Um, for reference, the walls upstairs are R40 and the ceiling is R70. But the downstairs here, the my basement workshop here, or studio, I might be calling it a studio because I'll be doing videos here. Uh, still a work in progress, of course. This will probably be heated to some amount, and then this area will probably not be heated. But I do have uh, the main water comes up here, so I wired in an outlet over there too. And so there's a heater on my main water line that comes up there. Uh, so I, in, in the winter when it's super cold, I might have to heat down here, but um, so far even with our 13 degree Fahrenheit temperature and that never got below 45 or 50 in here but now with the ceiling being insulated we're not actually getting any heat down here from upstairs so the temperatures will tend to gravitate lower because we're not getting any parasitic heat loss from upstairs but I do have a little electric radiator that will take care of a lot of the heat for down here it does heat up fairly quickly it's not a very big space <clears throat> other things you guys might be interested in if you've stuck around this long in this boring video is the turbine I took it out because I'm going to try reducing the friction on this guy uh, switching out from sealed ball bearings to shielded ball bearings with a grease fitting and removing a thrust washer and then also removing the cooling fan because this will only be running pretty much in the winter and also at uh, probably about half its capacity, so it won't need cooling. And I also plan on dyno testing these. Um, well, you know, this this guy, and I can also dyno test this, and I can dyno test this, and and that too. You know, hoverboard, hoverboard wheel. And so I, I need to figure out a way to chuck all these up to my drill press. And then I can run a dyno testing because my drill press is a variable speed here so that'll be fun um, and I can also load test it you know I'll test them unloaded and loaded to see a voltage and a power curve and a, a friction coefficient I guess you could say and I have an amp meter to to measure that so this is a I'll put a link in the description to the one I got. You guys probably won't need it because this is a 100 amp, 200 volts. So I needed something with higher voltage rating. Most of them you see out there are 60 volts or 100 volts, but I needed to go up to a 200 volt one for my system. Uh, link in the description though, if you're interested. Uh, and then I'll load these up with uh, probably just incandescent light bulbs. So I'll have an array of light bulbs that I can screw them in to vary the load. And then I have an RPM meter, um, yeah, here. I have an RPM meter too, so I can verify the RPM that's spinning out. Even if I don't get it, an exact same RPM between tests, I can still plot it on an Excel spreadsheet and then we can like compare the lines. Even if the points are in different spots, it'll be pretty clear how they perform. And I think that's it um, for a while. I need to I need to get a desk really for my editing computer. I don't have it set up right now. Um, 
I had thought about kind of maybe putting it down here on my workbench or maybe a secondary bench or desk, but this is a shop. So it's going to be maybe a little bit dusty. Um, maybe I do put it down here, but I just, I spent some money and get my dust collection set up, but I don't really want to do that until I have everything else done. So I don't know, whatever. I'll see you guys around. I'm just happy that I passed my inspection. So now I won't expect any inspectors to have to come around and check my work. I mean, I do good work anyways. Uh, I mean, they never had me change anything. Actually, he had suggested that I change something since we're here. I can show you. Um, because of the code that we're on, I forget which, which year it is, on my panel, they require an arc fault circuit interrupter for in the bedrooms. So this, these two circuits feed our bedroom. So I just put an AFCI on those. That's the only thing he ever really had us change for inspection. Everything else was good. Everything else passed. Everything passed every inspection. <laughs> Except that was a suggestion. So, yep, here we are again. Bye. I'll see you guys around.